Non-destructive evaluation is all about inspecting components, bits of machinery and so on, trying to find out whether there's damage present. So I've got a fluorescent dye, which I'm just going to paint onto the surface. Essentially it's this sort of continuous drive for improvements. Um, it will seep into any cracks that are on the surface so that when we wipe it off later you should be able to identify them. I suppose on one level it's about keeping people safe. There's a lot of potential for things to go wrong. You think of oil rigs, you think of aeroplanes and so on. We need to keep people safe and that's why doing this is quite important. So there's a crack in there, you can see. I really like studying at Imperial College London because it's, it's one of the leading places in the world for science and technology and research. So you feel like you're part of something really exciting. I suppose quite a rewarding experience as well, you know, it's not just um, about putting stuff into papers and so on, but it's about getting ideas that real, really have impact in the real world. This is basically a typical setup for a clamp-on ultrasonic flow meter. So it's basically uh, we're calculating the, uh, the arrival time difference between upstream signal and downstream signal. For me, it's the best thing in the world to learn knowledge and uh, spread the knowledge and then contribute to the knowledge. Doing a PhD is about pushing your career in a direction where you show you're a problem solver, you can go and do research. Uh, you can see that there's a slight phase difference between uh, the upstream signals and downstream signals. Our contribution to science and technology in this kind of research field are always needed and valued. Industry is really important to us in the group. We, we work so much with them. It's really good that through both the group at Imperial um, and through Rolls-Royce, my sponsor company, you've got access to, to so many experts in the field. This is a guided wave testing ring. So we use this to excite ultrasonic guided waves, which we send down pipes and try and use that to detect whether or not there's damage in the pipe. And it's a really great example showing you that the work that we do in the lab does actually have really good practical impact. The great thing about the environment and the group is the people. You know, we, you get to work with the best people. I think if someone was thinking of doing a PhD, I'd definitely encourage them to do it. PhD is uh, it's a special period of your life. So I'd say don't be put off by thinking that you can't do it. If you want to do it, you can definitely do yeah, it. We, we need to um, essentially develop the next versions of these technologies. You know, we need to come up with the next great ideas that are going to, I suppose, revolutionise this this field and that's why we need to really attract the best people in to, to do this work.